Outrageous and disgusting conditions for a mother and her three children. Her rodent infested apartment has no kitchen and the list of violations is long. The landlord was caught on camera spray painting messages on the doors of another tenant as well. Local 10 News investigator Jeff Weinsier takes you there and into a special hearing where the landlord is being ordered to clean it up. My kids are tired of living here. I've tried to move. I want to move but I can't find nowhere to move to. There is this massive hole in the ceiling. There is no kitchen. The only bathroom has no sink. Electrical wires are exposed in several spots. This wall looks like nothing more than a piece of galvanized steel roofing. And there are rodents everywhere, even making an appearance when a code compliance officer is here. Uh, there's a rat, just saw one. Tina Mast and her three children live here in the only bedroom. Because of the termite damage. So you have a hole in the window there. Yes. This is where your head goes. This is where my children sleep. This is where my girls sleep. You got mold all up in this area. In the one yeah. bathroom. I've asked them to put it back up. So the foam insulation you have all over the tub is to, to what? To keep the rats out. And is this where you wash the dishes too? Yes, it is because I have no kitchen zinc. The rent here, $1,100 a month. The conditions here weren't always this way. Last July, Mass says a pipe from an upstairs apartment burst, sending water into her apartment below. It's truly, honestly, not, not my fault. I didn't do this. The landlord did send someone out to stop the leak and to clear out the water damage, but eight months later. What does he say to you? What? Tell your cousins to go pay rent somewhere else. Because he calls the rats my cousins. Ori Gal owns the Dania Beach building. This is ring doorbell video of him at the front door of another apartment. The resident here told us he had complained of rodents and mold. In the video, you see Gal with a can of spray paint, and he goes to the front door of two apartments where he spray paints a message. What did he write on the door? He wrote fat ass on the door. I don't understand this. This is really unacceptable. Absolutely. Have rats, mice, vermin. Thursday, Gal was hauled before a special magistrate in Dania Beach. The city has already issued him violation after violation. Gal has accumulated $131,800 in fines for prior violations, including a rodent issue. The city now taking on Tina Mass conditions, and the special magistrate here is not happy. I, I saw these photos, and they're disgusting. I have. No explanation to the, so far I counted 16 rats that she's found in her apartment. Gall now has five days to come in compliance. Get an exterminator out here. Get rid of mass rodents or face a $200 a day fine. The to keep, is to keep the, the rodents out. The as far as the other conditions, Gall has 10 days to pull permits to get her apartment in order or face a $250 a day fine. I have every interest in fixing this apartment. As fast since fun. July. I've had since July, I have, right? And there's been a series of both my mistakes, okay, on trusting certain professionals, as well as her miss, how do you say it? Less than true uh, intentions, okay? Gal is in the process of evicting Mast and seven other residents who he says are behind in their rent. He implied Mast knows how to work the system. He also says she refuses to allow workers in. Allegations she denies. As far as his artwork on the front door of two apartments. You're caught on camera spray painting lazy ass and fat on the front door. News to me, but that's great for news. I can go to the rest of them now. We'll continue this later. Okay? Why did you do that? Gal emerges from the bathroom and says this said, we're gonna get this apartment fixed and by the way anybody who wants to move in we're gonna have eight apartments soon very available thank you very much stay in touch and you are doing a great job by the way i applaud you don't ever stop in dania beach jeff weinseer local 10 news well and because of the rodent issue the city's code of compliance has contacted the state department of health but inspectors have not come out yet